Lucius had been the trailblazer in this new generation of platform designs that we had post-2010. And Heidelberg is certainly in debt to Lucius. We've been able to significantly reduce the cost of the engineering and therefore the cost of fabrication and the cost of installation through our Design 1, Build 2 concepts. It's quite cold, especially coming from Texas. It's windy, it's snowy, and it's icy. And it's inhospitable for most people to think of building a spar project here, but they do it exceptionally well. If it's not windy, we can work still minus 25. Talking about that template with the strikes. We're about one month from having all the work out of the shops and from here until completion, it's gonna be a mad dash. And we really enjoy this part of the project because you see it all coming together. Each one of the yards has looked ahead and said, where did we have issues on Lucius? And so where can we mitigate those in advance? Lucius was built here at Keywood Offshore. And both Anadarko and Keywood is maintaining that relationship and the lessons learned from Lucius to Heidelberg. Although they're in two different parts of the world and uh, it's warm in Keywood and it's cold here in Pori, our entire team has embraced the concept of the Design 1, Build 2 and really executed it phenomenally. From an HSE standpoint right now, we're doing very well on the project and we prove that you can live safe every single day and you can still be efficient and get the project done on time. We've been strict with our controls uh, on changes, and I think that is the key to the, the success of Heidelberg. This week is a big milestone because we have the final ring section, H8, is going to the rails. The H8 is the most complicated section because that's where all the top sides components, how they tie into the hull. We had a decision meeting, go or not go, and it means that we are starting uh, the skidding under the ship. If you're going to move something that large, you got to sit it on something that's going to move nice and easy, which is rollers that roll along with the hull, nice and slow, all the way onto the ship. like a conductor in an orchestra. He taps his podium, raises his wand, talks on the radio, and everyone lifts in unison. Very excited about getting it offshore and getting it up and running. It's kind of like watching a race car get built and I'm the driver. A little over an hour ago, the last of the nine mooring piles for the Heidelberg project was sitting on the deck of the boulder. And now it's safely on its way down to the bottom of the ocean here uh, in Heidelberg project location. The trust and the relationship building really results in a great project. Right now we're in the process of uh, moving the uh, 3701 compressor module from where we fabricated it at to over here. We're gonna walk it straight on the barge with the transporters. These two modules were originally slated to be installed offshore with the main top sides, and now we're gonna be integrating these modules onshore, which will help tremendously with our offshore scope.
tow out and the installation of this bar is just one small step to getting first oil for the Heidelberg field. This has taken tons of coordination on the side of the tow boats as well as the vessels that we have involved. Beautiful weather, perfect tow the whole way out here. Took just under four days. We pump in about six million gallons of seawater into the spar hull compartment to bring it to the upright final condition. Well, after a successful upending completion yesterday morning, we continued on with the post upending preparations, getting ready for mooring installation. So it's quite the armada of vessels out here and it's uh, the ballet that happens between all of the boats. And that's really the personality of the Heidelberg Project. We bring everybody together, we form one team and we pull together to complete a tough scope. And so far everybody's done that. Whether you're an executive, a manager, project lead, the purpose of your role is to find ways to make your team successful. Now it's going offshore. Well, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, you hate to see a project like this one come to an end because this has been one of the good projects. You know? Right behind me, you can see us making final preparations to remove the temporary work deck before we get ready to set the main top sides for Heidelberg. Let's have a look at the weather. Uh, Today we had a go, no go meeting. We have a green light and we go ahead. The Heidelberg Topsides lift was a big milestone for Anadarko. It's the largest lift that we've done to date in the Gulf of Mexico. It takes a, a special breed of person in order to work offshore. You now I'm convinced that we have the best and the brightest hookup and commissioning team that's been assembled for offshore work. You really don't know exactly when you're going to be able to open those valves and turn on that first well until actually just a few hours before it happens. When the systems have been commissioned, when the certifications have been received, when all the safety and environmental specifications have been checked off, we're saying go. Well, that's first oil. The team really has done a good job to make this look easy, certainly easier than it really was. Only together you can achieve these great accomplishments. From the smallest pieces being delivered to the largest pieces being delivered, everybody has taken incredible personal pride in delivering a good product. Kudos to the entire Heidelberg project team and the work that they've done to get us to first oil.